Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. What we'll be doing today is making this website and adding, uh, keep working on this website and adding a toggle mode, dark mode slash light mode button. And if you don't know like what exactly what I'm talking about, have you ever been to a site like, for example, any website that has one, like Turbo War, for example? In its navigation bar, it has a moon that you can press and it changes. And you may think this is pretty much easy because all you just change the CSS to make the text like when it's in dark mode, you just put it the background color to black and then the font color white. When it's in light mode, do the exact opposite and just make the background color white and stuff like that. No, it's actually a bit harder than you think and accidentally deleted the sign up thing no what did i just do i hate this oops i just deleted the index so you move over there and then put it back Because you know the worst thing happened to me. I was working on this video. I was, I had been recording for forty more, forty four minutes straight, and guess what happened? My microphone was not plugged in, so I have to redo this again. But it's definitely worth it because I have to make it good. I can't just rush through things. So that's that. Now it should be back. Yeah, it, it did get fixed. But first, what I'm going to do is change the picture of this because it's not transparent and make it like look a bit nicer. So. We're actually gonna get to work on the thing, the toggleable uh, light slash dark mode button. But first, we're gonna have the images, the sun and moon image. So I wanna make it because I want it to be original. that I'm done with my beautiful masterpieces of art. <laughs> I finally finished the sun, which is the only thing that looks good, but the moon is it still looks like like trash. But it doesn't matter, we're gonna put it in anyways. I mean the advantage of making your oh wait. the only reason I looked it up like here because it was because apparently I forgot how to draw a moon so I just needed like reference but I didn't like copy it. The advantage of drawing your own art or code compared to just like copying it and ripping it off or something else is that you get the advantage of completely customizing it the way you want. So for example the moon the it would have been like really rare to just find a random moon with the exact colors i want and stuff or the sun i mean the sun looks kind of generic but like 
the I w I made it the way I exactly wanted it to. With that out of the way, let's add it to here. But also, the like at the end, we're gonna do the the most painful part, which is to update the website. But first, we have to add whatever we add in the index to all the other files. So we have to basically update it and add the code on one, two, three, four, five different HTML files. But after you finish it once, you only have to copy and paste it, which is good. First, we want to start which with this div. Why did I add this div? Why, why did I, I mean, like, why did I just put this random div inside of the nav? But couldn't I, could I, how I just added it? In the div without uh, in the nav without the div and why did I put a class named left in it that's because you know in most websites the sign up page doesn't go to the left in the same place where all the other main things are it goes on the right so well the way we can do that is by making another div but instead of the class being uh, left it will be Right, so div, another div, with the class equals right, and like that. Then we have to add some little piece of code in our CSS, oops, uh, all of this is from the stuff I deleted. I mean that that I was doing because like I already said it re my, my microphone wasn't like plugged in even though I have been recording this already so I kind of already did this but I kind of like revert it back but so I'm just gonna write everything again all I need to write is dot write for the write class and then curly braces float write and that's it now when we oops wait wait so now we're gonna move the sign up a element a tag wait no element yeah. into the div with the right class and now it's on the right it works then after that we already have the pictures, I just drew them, or you can look them up if you want. And then I'm gonna... Add it here, so... This is what we have to type. We have to make it a button, because it is a button, it's basically just a button with a, a picture on it. So then, oops, oh yeah, so, button, id, dark mode, I'm gonna make it big for a second because it's like too hard to read like that, dark mode toggle, So toggle and then a class with the exact same name dark more toggle what didn't add it wow okay so this now instead of adding like text into it what we're gonna do is to make an image element inside of the button tag so image source and the source is well gonna be the the sun.png that we have and then the alternative the alt is just gonna be sun because it's just a picture of the sun and what no why do you make a lowercase sun and then what we have to do now is 
Oops, well, what just happened? I mean, it works, it's, it is there, but it's just a big button with the, a huge giant sun in it. Wait, where's the sign up page? Where's the like, sign up go? I think it got absorbed by. What? I think it literally got absorbed by the sun. It's not there anymore. It's just a picture. Oh my god, what have we done? Okay, so, I mean, that's, that's kind of the whole point of the video. We're gonna fix it right now. ASAP, so we don't have this giant sun. Quick, before it absorbs us. <laughs> we have to go back to the CSS. And, uh, add another rule set for the dark mode toggle. And then what we need to do is add, remove the background, like the the background that like all default buttons have, uh, this gray-ish background. So background equals none. So no background. I'm trying to press save, not whatever that is then also we need to r remove this border because that all default buttons have so border equals none and then we have to add another thing dark mode toggle but it just the specific just specifically the image inside it to make it smaller just height 30 px oops i meant the color of the semicolon so 30 px like that it now it should be small yeah i mean it's, it's there it works now but the sign up is looking a little bit weird, don't you think? It's like down, it's like it's like pushed down downwards. I shouldn't look like that. So the problem is that in the right that where is it the right here? The right div. I have to type in this play flux and align item center and now it works now it's not like down not outside of the box because it shouldn't be outside of the navigation where they would be thinking outside the box get it I mean, when, obviously, when you zoom in too much, it does get out because it doesn't fit in one line. But I mean, why would you zoom in this much anyway? So we don't. I don't think there's any fixing to that. Nobody wants to zoom in that much. Then we want some kind of response to at least hovering on it because everything else on the uh, navigation bar has like a little hover response so in this case for all the links it's turning the background color into like teal or aqua color but the sun doesn't do anything what we can do is just the same thing you can do whatever you want with it, but what I'm gonna do is dark mode toggle hover is make it bigger. So for example, you can do the transform scale 1.2 let's say, and that makes it 1.2 times bigger. You can set it to whatever you want, 1.5. If you want it's 50% bigger, if you want it twice as big, just type in two. I mean, you. I don't think there's a limit with this. 
So if you want to have fun, you can just set it to like, uh, too much. Oh wait, that's, that, oh God, that's way too big. That's literally 300 times bigger than the usual size. But still, this is too big still. We're just gonna leave it at 1.5. But then it still doesn't do anything when you click it. So the way we actually make it do something when you click it is by adding JavaScript. JavaScript has the power to manipulate objects and things in the HTML, which makes it kind of be the most uh, powerful out of the three. The three uh, out of the three main components of a website: HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I mean, you kind of could make a, a whole, I mean, you obviously need HTML, but I think you could make a whole web page out of JavaScript, pure JavaScript too. I mean, you would obviously need the index.html file, but everything in the page would be made by JavaScript because JavaScript like like all the previous the previous programming languages on this channel and unlike html or css is javascript is a programming language it's not a markup language not a styling language it's a programming language so what we need to do Let's go at the very end. The reason we add scripts. Hey, what just happened there? I think I forgot to add an ending p tag. Yeah. So the reason we add scripts at the very bottom of a page is because we need for all the elements to be like loaded before the JavaScript begins. So it can like manipulate everything correctly. What we're going to add is this. It's going to be a lot, so l uh, listen. const toggle equals document.getElementById. And then we're going to type in dark mode toggle and then we're just gonna put make it big for now then semicolon const another const body equals document dot body semicolon then after that it's gonna make an if statement so if body the class list the contains dark mode not dark mode toggle then the curly braces let me computer lagging then not no not uppercase toggle the inner HTML equals and then what this is doing is making variables pretty sure const are variables and then it's making the variable toggle which is just equals document dog get element by the dark mode toggle and then the body the body variable is just document the body const variables never change so you cannot like add another value and what this is doing is toggling like the 
it's gonna toggle it's gonna change the image element so if it contains dark mode then it's gonna change it to this so image image source instead of the sun is it gonna be moon dot p and g and then alt moon and then semicolon scurly uh wait i already did the scurly bracket yeah the curly brackets or else toggle wait okay so i'm back now and what was i saying oh yeah that if else but turns out i was wrong that's not we don't really need an else like this exact moment what we're gonna do though is after this thing oh wait see you just found there this I forgot to add the closing bracket. Then, after we finish, we add toggle the add event listener. Click. If we type in click. then this oops not like this is the other way around and then then body the class list the toggle dark mode semicolon and here's here's where the real if else is. So wait, why is this here? Like what what Oh, I know why. Okay, anyways. If body the class list the contains dark dark mode then Toggle the inner HTML equals a sync. Yeah. So we just copy this actually. It's like easier. And that's it. Then the, here is where we add the if. Where's the error though? Why do I have an error? Where? Where is the error? <gasps> Wait, what? Is it because it didn't have a closing thing? I think they fixed it. Okay. The fix the the fix the error. So as I was saying this is where we add the real else. So else toggle the inner HTML 
equal the same thing but we type sun so sun the png okay so here it pulled up the same where it says the error so where's the error at oh yeah, uh, because I copied this, I just pasted it, and I think it was starting to write already. I think that fixed it. Where? How do I fix it then? What? What are these suggestions? I don't think that fixes anything at all. Uh, I mean, it is even if else, though. This is the same... If oh wait, I think we figured it out. Wait, this is an if statement, and there's a semicolon to it. That's why. Oh my god. Okay, so. Uh, let's go back and there it's not switches it but it's not like actually switching it why though well Oh, the reason why is because we never really added the dark mode class. Oh my god. Seriously. So let's type in dark, dark mode without like toggle or anything. And then type in background color black or the color of your choice like dark gray or whatever. And the font color just wait so now it should be working yeah it works now finally yes it, it works but the only problem is it's not in all of them it only works in the index one so I guess time to fix that another 16 uh, time speed time lapse when I finish this, I'm also going to update all of this into GitHub to make the result the, uh, the results public as well. So, yeah, I guess another 16 times speed time lapse. And go. that's done I'm just gonna go back to the page and then it's gonna say 404 because it deleted everything but it takes a few minutes to like re actually like appear so what I'm gonna do well I'm just what I do is like spam click so listen to my mouse literally getting tortured This is not a sound effect, by the way. It's actually my finger. Okay, finally loaded, but now the CSS is broken. I, I think I clicked so fast that I didn't have enough time to like load the CSS, and then I click cancel and load. <laughs> now the links are all broken. The, uh, we're back with a huge. Oh, what? Oh, wait. That means. Wait. It, 
that means it did load the JavaScript, but it didn't load the CSS. <laughs> what? It's back to the old font again. So we should reload that. Wait. If it's not working at all, that means the styles that... Wait, what? Did I, did I even add it? Wait, did I add... Wait, did I actually like add the thing? There's no way I didn't, right? There's no way you could... Okay, I actually did forget to add the CSS. Oh my god. I didn't add the CSS file. What? Oh my god, I'm actually like... Okay, now it should work and it shouldn't just be a giant huge sun. Yeah, well, guess I should probably get back to spam clicking the reload button. Why does it actually want to like add the like updates? I thought the GitHub servers were faster than this. Said work. Finally, now it works, and we have it right here. We have a toggleable theme above. I don't know. I I looked it up, and the uh, the word toggleable doesn't even exist. I just I just I think I just made it up, but I'm gonna keep calling it that. But now we have light mode and a dark mode. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep a dark mode. Now it's in all the pages. Why is it still light mode by default though? That's like not good. Okay, anyways, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next one. Bye, and don't forget to keep coding.